Hey guys, I'm leaving Phoenix right now, going to Las Vegas to join the Century Martial Arts Super Show. It's a really huge gathering of martial artists of all different disciplines, Japanese stylists, Chinese stylists, Korean stylists, modern cage fighters, wrestlers, kickboxers. Everybody's there just showing their spirit for the martial arts. I'm heading there as well. I did it last year and had a great time. I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride. I'm driving, I'm doing the road trip, so I got my smoothie here this morning. This is mulberries from my garden banana that was frozen, mame sapote that I got from Miami Fruit Company, vanilla, moringa powder from my garden, maca powder which gives it a chocolatey taste and boosts my energy, and water. I'm gonna also down one of these Justin's hazelnut butters that's actually non-dairy. All right, let's go. Finally done being a urban gardener. I'm gonna transition into full-on martial art mode, but my backyard garden gave me a nice little harvest here. Car snacks, two beautiful figs, and a passion fruit. Thanks, yard. Delicious. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's a fig. This is a brown turkey fig. There's different varieties of figs, just like there's different varieties of apples. It is delicious. When I teach gardening, I teach my gardening students that you have to speak the language of butterfly and bee to be a good gardener. And the language they speak is flower. So when you speak flowers, you get the bees and the butterflies. And then there's also a language of bird and the birds talk to you too. So this fig was on the tree and how do you know if it's ripe or if you're gonna pick it too soon? Well, the birds talk to you. They take a little peck out of it like that. And then that's them telling you it's ready to go. One thing about living in the desert is that I'm gardening outside all the time and I'm training outside all the time. So I always crave olives and pickles and sauerkraut and kimchi and these salty foods. So I'm doing pickles on the way to Vegas. Shout out to Greg Peterson with urbanfarm.org for hooking me up with fresh homemade applesauce from his backyard apple trees. This is my road trip snack. It's gonna keep me full of nutrients and it's so delicious. Oh my god. Matthew Lee, we're in Vegas. You ready for this? I'm always ready for Las Vegas. We're gonna eat some good vegan food, we're gonna train together. We're going to attend this super show. I'm, I'm excited to see who we are going to run into here. This is the MGM Grand, heading towards the Cot Theater. I've been in Vegas 24 hours. I've already lost track of the days. I think it's like 4 a.m. We don't even know because we've been I in have, this casino. I have no <laughs> Walking aimlessly around.
like dressed really right? nice, slick dress pants. But they're not dress pants, they're actually by Blue Lemon Athletica. And they're stretchy yoga pants that are doubling as business pants that I can actually do full on head kicks with these pants on. So we did the opening ceremonies, now it's later. I'm starving, it's time to go change out of these clothes which I'm actually quite frankly pretty uncomfortable wearing and uh, get some vegan food. This guy's got an electric bike. He's got arc power and he's plugged it into the MGM Grand Casino's wall outlet and he's getting free power from the casino. We're gonna eat some vegan food here in old Las Vegas. What are we eating at? Evil pie. Evil pie and then uh, a dessert place. Vegan the dessert scoop, place. something scoop. The perfect scoop. Perfect scoop. Open until 2 a.m. I'm getting the hell out of these clothes in the parking lot right now. It's, it's okay to get naked in Vegas, right? No one cares. It's it's actually unusual if you don't get naked in Vegas. Okay, good. bunch of things in this world that I love and two of those things are Thai tea with the boba and vegan desserts and there are some vegan desserts in this perfect scoop place right now okay so I was gonna get three things one the frappe and the caramel macchiato frappe vegan stuff but they're out of vegan whipped cream right now all I wanted was vegan whipped cream so I canceled that and I wanted to get a two scoop ice cream with the pistachio and the cookies and cream. But they were out of that. <laughs> so I lost out on that. So instead I got one called, it's called a brownie crisp and the banana chip. Two scoops here. Look at this This is the white chocolate chip. This one's good. So also inside here is white chocolate peanut butter. This is a three scooper. What time is it right now? It feels like, what time is it? It's about 108 degrees. Yeah, it's so hot. It's, it's so hot. It's literally twice as hot as it is in Half Wind Bay. That's where you're from. Which is probably like 50 degrees right now. I forget how to play. Am I, am I the There's only two buttons. <laughs> Oh no, I'm the little Mario, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm Mario climbing up. Okay, so we're all big. I already died. <laughs>
super show. I got to train with Hicks and Gracie. Talked to Master Ken, meet a ton of cool people. Now we're gonna go up into the corner up there to what I think is one of the best vegan places in town. Vegan Chinese food. It's called Veggie House? Or Veggie vegan House. House. Veggie House. Well, whatever it is, we'll go find out in a second. Why don't you guys come in and eat with me? So at this vegan place, you say they a lot of the meat they make here in house. Okay. This is the jiao zi, and this is the spring roll. This is the jiao zi, and this is the spring roll. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited right now because I love this restaurant and I'm so hungry. So it's dangerous being here right now because I might order 10 entrees. But we get to take them to go to the hotel later and pick out all night until 2 a.m. Now we have the vegan pineapple roasted duck and the vegan general so's chicken. Now for our next dish, we got the Cajun fish. Oh my goodness, this looks so delish. Okay, now we got the sweet and sour fish. And yes, there are only two of us. And yes, we're gonna eat all of this. Because <laughs> we are vegan athletes who are starving. Look at this spread. I miss certain things being vegan and fish. And all seafood is one of them. Things like ducks, this roasted duck that's vegan. It's so good. The whim. Cajun fish. You guys, seriously, this Cajun fish, the roasted duck, all this vegan food is so good. We feel kind of like crying right now. We're having like a religious experience over here <laughs> at the veggie house. All right, guys, we're back in the MGM for day two of the Super Show. Actually, day three, <laughs> day three. Oh my god. I went out to the Bellagio Fountains last night at midnight and saw a great water show for free. That's my favorite. Alright, tell me, my friend, what are we doing here this morning? This morning is really early, 7 a.m. I know, but it's like Bill woke up at 5.45. It's 6.30 right now. 5.45 because it's Las Vegas. Thanks for repping the Bee Water shirt. Bee Water. I gotta tell you a secret. The only reason why this morning I'm going to be training super hard and kicking my ass off at this seminar is to burn off calories in advance of vegan donuts that we're going to go oh to right after the seminar is over. Vegan donuts. Okay, Century Martial Arts Show is over for me and I literally stay as clean as possible, work out as hard as I can when I'm in Vegas, just so that at the end of my event, I can go to my favorite place. Just behind me right now, Ronald's Donuts. We're gonna go in there and get some vegan donuts right now. These are my favorite. The chocolate with the cream on the inside. The apple fritters. These apple burritos are no joke. They have like the apple cobbler glaze on the inside. Apple turnovers, just your basic chocolate. They got the cherry on the inside, the cherry filling. Dude, come on. How many push-ups do I have to do to bring this up? There aren't enough push-ups in the world. <laughs> so this is what my pants are gonna be like. Vegas at this place. 
place called Veggie Nation. If you're in Las Vegas, Veggie Nation is 100% plant-based. Here's their information. Screenshot that. And look at this. I love pho so much, and this one is fucking delicious. So, I never get to come here, so what should I order? What you should order is, you got the bow bow, you got the buffalo cauliflower wings, all the best. Entree-wise, East West Taco. It comes with a Korean barbecue sauce, and you get three tacos with an Asian slaw, guacamole, and a tip of lime. Also, you get the muchas gracias. Hands Muchas down, gracias. yes, hands down, one of the best. Right there. So you got the sweet potato, the black beans, and the cheese, and it's with a chipotle crema to die for, or guacamole, and a pico de gallo, and you get four slices with that. Then the next is our eggplant stack. What? Yes. I was looking at yes, that. yes, yes, yes. So hey, do me a favor and say what this one's called for me. But, but the, the fucking delicious. <laughs> exactly. Because it is. I thought so. But it's just a little too hot for me right now to be eating that. I think that the restaurant yes. should be named that. <laughs> fucking delicious. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> So the eggplant stack is like a lasagna. So you got the eggplant, the oh, cashew wow. regatta, and you got the eggplant with the marinara, and it's in the salamander, and it's melted with the cheese, and there you go. Bada boom, bada boom. Cool. Okay, well, I think I better go with the East West Taco. Let's do it. That's I'm doing the jack eggplant fruit. stack. Eggplant East West. Okay, tell me why every restaurant doesn't use this. A paper straw, no plastic, much better for the planet, and it works just the same way. Got the buffalo cauliflower, very nice. These buffalo cauliflower wings need a friend, so we got them some Chinese balsa, open face balsa, stuffed with tofu and veggies. This is so freaking good. It's tofu, the bun is plump and tender and fluffy and light and amazing, and it's mushrooms, like marinated shiitakes in there with teriyaki sauce. You got some incredible artwork behind you. Friend, not food. Food revolution. And you've got the eggplant lasagna. This place has such a cool, cozy feel to it with all the plants and nice kind of urban vibe. Let me show you guys what I got. I got these jackfruit street tacos. What's inside this eggplant lasagna? Whoa. It's 117 degrees outside where I am right now. Sometimes it can be beautiful.